In this lesson, I will explain to you addition of rational numbers. So before going to start the questions, first of all, I will explain to you three different terms because there are three different kinds of fractions. First one is the improper fraction. Right. So what is the improper fraction? If the numerator is greater than denominator, it is called improper fractions. So here I have mentioned a fraction in which the numerator is greater than the denominator such as 7 by 3 you can write down 10 by 2 22 by 5 right 30 by 10 whatever if the numerator is greater than denominator it is called the improper fractions then proper fractions the inverse of it so simple a fraction in which the numerator is less than the denominator just like 3 divided by 8 or you can write down 2 divided by 10 or 17 divided by 25. Numerator should be less than denominator is the imp, sorry proper fraction. But if you have a numerator greater than denominator, it is called the improper fraction. Then is the mixed fraction. A mixed fraction is a whole number and a fraction combined into one. What does it mean? The example is two whole number 1 over 3. So 2 is the whole number and 1 over 3 is the fraction. So a mixed fraction is a whole number. This is the whole number and a fraction combined into 1. So how you can convert improper fraction to a mixed fraction? Keep in mind always, always the improper fraction you can convert to a mixed fraction. Proper fractions where numerator is lesser than denominator, you cannot convert to the proper fractions. Improper fractions, you can convert to a proper fractions. For example, here I have written 8 divided by 5. So how you will convert this to a mixed fraction? 8, you have to divide it by 5. So 5, 1 time 5 and the remainder is 3. So then you have to start writing whole number from here, like here to here and then from 3 to 5. So it is one whole number, 3 over 5. So see in the mixed number, in the mixed fraction, there is a whole number as well as fraction combined into one mixed number. So if someone asks you that this is the mixed or a whole number convert back to the improper fraction. So how you will do it? You have to multiply first this 5 with 1. 5, 1 time 5. You have to multiply denominator with the whole number. Whatever is the answer you have to add in the numerator. So 5, 1 time 5 plus 3 which is equal to 8. 8 over 5 and this is also 8 over 5. Right, so now we are going to solve, it's different to solve the questions. If you will find that your answer is in the improper fraction, then we will convert to a mixed fraction. But if our answer will be in the proper fraction, we cannot convert to a mixed fraction. So see, so far we have learned the addition so simple. Suppose I say if I say 4 plus 6 is 10, 5 plus 5, 10, right? Or I can say 2 plus 3, 5. Now, how you have to add fractions? These are the fractions. The, what this is called? This is 4 over 5. Your numerator is lesser than denominator. This is the proper fraction. And this is the improper fraction. Because numerator is greater than denominator. So there are again 2 or 3 different ways to solve these questions. In this exercise, I will show you 3 methods. And they are so easy. First is the basic is you have to see the denominator. If the denominator are same. Right. 4 over 5 or 6 over 5. If the denominator are same. No need to apply any method. Just add the numerator. So numerator is 4 and 6. So it will be 10 over 5. And you have to write down denominator only one time. Right. Do not add the denominator. Only you have to add the numerator when, when you have 
the denominator same and then you can divide it 5 1 time 5 2 time so 2 is your answer here one more question what you have to see in the fraction first of all your denominator is same yes we have the same denominator so what is the next step only add the numerator do not add the denominator add the numerator and write down the denominator only one time 17 one time 17 one time so one is your answer this is the first way second is now here we do not have the same denominator 4 divided by 3 plus 3 divided by 4 right so what method here i am going to show you which is called the butterfly method so it is also very easy when you have, when you will apply the butterfly method when you do not have the same same denominator in the previous question here you can also apply the butterfly method right but your denominator is same so no need to apply just add the numerator here your denominator is not same so butterfly is you have to start from here cross multiplication 4 4 times 16 right down here and then 3 3 times 9 right and then this is the positive sign in the middle so numerator you have to add denominator you have to multiply and this is the our butterfly is ready so 16 plus 9 which is equal to 25 numerator you have to add denominator you have to multiply 3 4 times 12 so 25 over 12 is the answer but see this is the improper or proper this is improper numerator is greater than denominator so i told you then we can convert improper fraction you can convert to the whole number divided by 12 so 12 2 times 24 and the remaining is remainder is 1 so how you will write down this starting from here do not start from here start from here 2 whole number 1 divided by 12 and then go here this is the answer if it is a improper fraction then you can convert to the whole number proper fraction you cannot convert to the whole number if someone asks you to convert this whole number back to the improper fraction so what you have to do you have to multiply whole number and the denominator 12 2 times 24 then you have add this one numerator 25 25 over 12 and this is also 25 over 12 one more question we will solve with the same butterfly method because the denominator is not same if denominator is same just add the numerator right again i am explaining so here you we are going to use the butterfly method starting from here cross multiplication 3 2 times 6 then 8 2 times 16 you have to add the numerator and multiply the denominator so 6 plus 16 which is equal to 22 divided by 8 3 times 24 so you can make it this is 11 and this is 12 so our answer is 11 over 12 then you have to see whether it is a proper fraction or improper fraction this is proper fraction numerator is lesser than denominator we cannot convert to the mixed fraction this is our answer so this is the different question now again the denominators are not same you can apply the butterfly method but i am going to explain another method here denominator are not same so you can make your denominator same how you will make this denominator same this is 5 how can you make it to 10 if we multiply 5 by 2 then denominator is also 10 so whatever you will do in the denominator same operation you have to do in the numerator so it will be 2 over 10 plus 6 over 10 now 
the denominators are same so what method you will use just add the numerator if the denominator are same question number one do not apply at any method just this and which is equal to 4 over 5 and this is the proper fraction this is your answer uh, one more time here again we have to make the same denominator and this is the third way to add the fraction so how you can make it 9 if I multiply this 3 by 3 denominator will be 9 so the same operation you have to apply in the numerator as well so it will be 3 over 9 plus 6 over 9 right denominators are same only add the numerator 9 over 9 so now we can divide it so the answer is 1 so in this lesson we have learned three different ways how to add the fractions one is very simple if the denominators are same you have to add the numerator only right if the denominators are not same then you can make the denominator same and then add the numerator third is if the denominators are not same use the butterfly method multiply this and then this add numerator multiply the denominator so here are two practice problems please solve these questions using the butterfly method or making the same denominator answers are here but first you have to solve the questions then tell your answers if you still you have any question you can write down in the comment section but please do not forget to subscribe to my channel Saima Academy thanks for watching